Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of division and reciprocal multiplication. This is standard 6.3a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 6 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So this is a fairly simple problem. They give you this word problem that doesn't really matter because they go ahead and give you the expression 5 6 divided by 5 16 But they don't want you to solve it. They want you to find another expression that would do the same thing. And this is where we get into this big term reciprocal. So what is a reciprocal? Reciprocal are also uh, sometimes called a multiplicative inverse. So here's the thing. So any number, so I'm going to use just the number sign here, times a reciprocal, and this is how we can spot reciprocals, equals 1. So you take any number and you multiply it by its reciprocal, and it always equals 1. So uh, let's look at like a simple example of 3 fourths. Well, what do I have to multiply 3 fourths by to get to 1? Well. What if I were to flip 3 fourths upside down? If I were to multiply across, remember uh, fraction multiplication is just straight across 12 over 12, and guess what? 12 over 12 equals 1. It also works if you happen to use whole numbers, right? So let's say 10. What do I have to multiply 10 by to get to 1? Well, it's always helpful to view a f whole number, like 10, as a fraction, an improper fraction. That's going to help us a little bit better. So 10 over 1, because 10 ones, right, 10 wholes is the same as 10. Any whole number you can turn into a fraction by making 1 as the denominator. Well, let's flip that upside down. And that equals 10 over 10, so guess what we have now? 1. So that's what a reciprocal is. It's the flipped upside down number that when multiplied to the first number makes 1. So the reciprocal changes based on whatever the first number is. But did you know that reciprocals also help? division. So let's do something pretty simple like this. 20 divided by 2. Well, we know 20 divided by 2. That makes 10. But what if we were to multiply 20 by its reciprocal? So what if we were to take 20, and instead of divided by 2, let's multiply by 2's reciprocal. Now remember 2, right? So 2 is really over 1, so the reciprocal would be 1 half, right? Because that would equal 2 over 2, that makes 1. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 half. And after you get enough practice, you'll be able to do these reciprocals in your head. So 20 times 1 half, let's just go ahead and make that a fraction multiplication. So that's going to be 20 over 2. Guess what that equals? 10. So here's the connection right here. Dividing by a number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. That's the key. And if once you learn that little nugget there, you will see that it is just really easy to do things in math. So our key learning is right here. Dividing by number is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. That's what we learned right here. Dividing by 2 is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal, or by 1 half. So let's keep that in our mind as we come back to our original problem. So which expression could be the same to calculate this 5 6 divided by 5 16? And we don't even need to know what the answer actually is. We just need to find an equivalent expression. Well, remember, in all of these numbers, what we did is we left the first number right where it was, 3 fourths, 10 over 1, 20, or 20 over 1, same thing. So we don't do anything to this first expression. So let's take a look at 5 6, 5 6, but let's just go ahead and eliminate h and j because they invert or they flip the first expression. We're not necessarily looking at doing that. When we divided by 2, we took that 2, we flipped it upside down, and we changed the division to a multiplication. So when we divide that 5 16, let's flip it upside down to 16 15, change your division to a multiplication. And guess what? You have your answer. So that's an easy way to divide by fractions.